Hey there guys, I'm Sonic Ghost, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Super Luigi Galaxy. Last time, we went over to the library and heard Rosalina's story at long last. And after hearing out Rosalina's very heartwarming and sad backstory, we are ready at this point to go to the center of the universe. As we have ourselves 120 stars, we have every single star collected in all the galaxies we have visited up to this point in our adventure. So there's nothing left for us to do, except one more thing, mail. One final letter from Princess Peach. This time around, we're going to that said far right place. It's not gonna be Mario, this time, Luigi is coming to save you. So let's go ahead and grab our 20 lives. And now, without any further ado, let's talk to Rosalina and depart to the center of the universe. Are you prepared to travel to the center of the universe? Yes, we are. All right then, off we go. There's a warp field inside the castle. Go, Luigi. Go. They are inside. Hurry. Luigi has finally made his way to Bowser's Galaxy Reactor. It's time for Luigi to jump into the fate of the universe. This is it, Bowser's Galaxy Reactor. Mario got here before Luigi, but now it's time for Luigi to take charge. Mama says this fight isn't just for us. It's also about saving your special one. Please be careful. Whatever you do, don't fail. I'm not planning on it, my Luma friend. Those spotlights have their own gravity. Try sticking to them. So while Luigi didn't make his way through Bowser's Galaxy Reactor in the past, we were able to witness from afar Mario make his way through this said galaxy. And since we were watching Mario strip through Bowser's Galaxy Reactor, we have an idea as to some of the gimmicks here in this said galaxy. Specifically here, the spotlights we want to go ahead and stand in the center of. By standing inside the light, we can walk up these said walls, which is how we're going to be climbing to the top of this tower. Be careful not to leave the said spotlight, however, because once you leave the spotlight, then that is when the gravity will shift back downwards and you will fall pretty much like a rock. Now we're here on the lava planet. Want to be very careful here of all of the spiral balls flying our direction. Long jump our way through the section. And with that, let's move on to our next planet here, the ice planet. This one we can go ahead and ice skate on, which give us some pretty fancy movement. But at the same time, we want to be careful not to fall into the blue stuff down below as that is blue fire essentially so you will burn yourself and take damage in the process here we are at the desert planet and i'm not gonna bother with this we're just gonna long jump right out of the section and go into our next portion of bowser's galaxy reactor 
This section here has platforms that appear once we get close enough to them. So you gotta be very careful in the set section as we don't have that much time before platforms will disappear once they're in front of where Luigi will stand. In this case, we have more enough health, we can go ahead and rush our way through that set section and just push through all of the said obstacles in our path, which is really helpful since we don't have that much time to be walking around. Got ourselves some thwomps here. I'm gonna be very, very careful not to get crushed, but I do want myself an extra life, so I'll take this. Thank you very much. And be careful here. Dodge ourselves some bullet bills. Grab ourselves another coin to get our health back. And here, I'm gonna just launch up my way past this mega bullet bill. These things are massive. Pretty hard to dodge, but as long as you're not in the direct line of sight, they will not chase after you. So, just get out of their way, and then you'll be perfectly fine. Let's go ahead, take this launch star, and make our way to the final obstacle here in Bowser's Galaxy Reactor. <laughs> Looking for Princess Peach? Too bad, cause she's with me. Mario may have failed at getting Princess Peach back from Bowser's grasp, but Luigi will not be making the same mistakes. Mario may have underestimated the power that Bowser holds, but Luigi will not. Let's confront Bowser one final time. Finally! You got here just in time to see the creation of my galaxy in the center of the universe. Watch and weep. From this galaxy, I'll rule a great galactic empire with Peach by my side. It will last forever. I will rule every pitiful corner of the universe. So Luigi, as you can see, I got big plans. And stopping you is at the top of my list. It's time, after all of our different encounters here with Bowser, this is our finale. Let's go ahead and attack Bowser at all of our might. Here in phase one, Bowser will roll himself up into a ball, but thankfully, that stone is not impossible to break. As you've seen, we wanna go ahead and spin attack where Bowser's head is, which will immediately burst the rocks around Bowser, making him vulnerable. We wanna spin attack Bowser a couple times here, and doing so will put you into phase two. We saw how easy this was for Mario, so let's replicate it. Using these fruits, you can immediately hit them into Bowser, which will stun the man. And now, we can just spin attack where Bowser's going and do some damage. You don't want to wait too long, though, after every single attack. As you can see, Bowser will get himself up after a while. The gravity here might be a little bit weird to walk around sometimes when it comes to trying to keep up with Bowser, but attack him enough and you'll be put into the third and final phase of the fight. Going into the center planet here, it is time for our final battle to end. You wanna go ahead and avoid Bowser's spinning attack here when he gets into his shell, run around the arena, and try not to be in Bowser's path. After he's done, he's gonna want to attack Luigi by jumping into his head position. Make sure you beat him into one of the glass platforms that have lava underneath it. And with that, you'll be able to stun Bowser and attacking him for a total of two more hits. Now that we hit Bowser once, he has one more good set of attacks in him before the battle is complete. Be very careful of all these said shockwaves, but once those are done, we want to go ahead and avoid Bowser one more time here, run around the arena, trying to be as careful as possible not to take any hits. And now let's bait him into a glass platform. 
have Bowser burn his rear one more time. And now, you want to chase him down and attack him. Once. Twice. And one more time for good measure. There it is, the final Grand Star. Let's collect this and save Princess Peach. Galaxy! My empire! This can't be happening! Do you hear the baby stars? These newborns will grow up to become galaxies someday. When stars die, they turn to stardust and scatter across the cosmos. Eventually, that stardust reforms to create a new star, and so, the cycle of life continues. 
But the cycle never repeats itself in quite the same way. So, so you'll see. All new life carries the essence of stars, even all of you. Ah. Welcome! Welcome, new galaxy! We're beating Bowser's Galaxy Reactor a second time, now with all 120 stars collected, the Grand Finale Galaxy is now open. Interesting. Sounds like we have one final area we can explore. So let's go ahead and save our game, and make our way to Grand Finale Galaxy. So we're back here at the Comet Observatory after beating Bowser, we're good this time, at Bowser's Galaxy Reactor. And if we go over to Mail Toad, we see he has a letter, but it's the same old letter from Princess Peach. I guess she just has a reserve of these letters she's still just trying to get rid of at this point, as she no longer needs to be saved, and yet she's still addressing these letters to Mario. You would think that she would learn that at this point, Luigi's the one here, working his way to save Princess Peach, you know, after saving her and all. But, uh, whatever, we'll still take Mario's lives at the end of the day. So, for us to make our way over to this brand new galaxy that we unlocked after collecting all 120 Power Stars and beating Bowser one final time at Bowser's Galaxy Reactor, we're gonna make our way over to the Trial Galaxies, and now we can see there's a brand new Luma here at the top here of this planetoid. Want to go to the Grand Finale Galaxy? Sure thing. Okay then. Let's go ahead and take this launch star to our final galaxy here in Super Luigi Galaxy. The Grand Finale Galaxy has one star for you to collect, and it's at the Star Festival. This area may look familiar as this was the opening to Mario's adventure in Super Mario Galaxy. Now that Luigi has collected all 120 Power Stars and has beaten Bowser, he now can visit the very beginning portion of the Mushroom Kingdom. Look at all those stars! A glorious Tow Brigade is back! Did you hear about their heroic deeds? They're just amazing. So we can see here we got ourselves purple coins to collect. Just when you thought you were done with the purple coins, we got ourselves one final set here in the Mushroom Kingdom. Good evening, Luigi. Good evening to you, good toad, sir. Welcome to the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, there you are. 
We were waiting for you. It's a festival! A festival! Have no fear. We secure the area. And hopefully there's no more invasions, am I right? Sweet, sweet vacation. What's the buzz? The tow brigade should be in the castle garden. Did you hear about the tow brigade's commendation? I'm sure the captain will tell you all about it. Looks like the tow brigade had gotten a nice reward for all their hard work. Whoa, check out the view! It is a very nice view of the castle. Very beautiful looking water too tonight. The very blue lake. Evening! Evening to you too, good sir. The queen says hello! Guess the queen couldn't make it. I, I can't believe it's the famous Luigi! Can I have your autograph? Sure, but where do I sign? Can I just sign like a big old L? Here, I'll sign the star bit. There you go, you're welcome. Wowie! Check out all these falling star bits! There are a lot of star bits around the area. I have the prettiest star bit right here! Hello, sir. It's a festival! Go have fun! Don't break anything. I wasn't planning on it, but thanks for the heads up. The Toad Brigade is an inspiration of toads everywhere. A big old party here. There's so many people. We got penguins, bees, toads, junk robots. Pretty much a whole ensemble of characters we met along our adventure. Oh, it's you! How have you been? This here is one amazing festival. Kids are having a blast. So, you having fun? Yeah, I would say so. Thank you very much. The tow brigade is waiting inside. I'm doing my best impression of the tow brigade captain. Not bad, huh? Well, you definitely got the blinding light part down. I gotta leave before I lose my vision. Hey, good to see you. Make way. Luigi, did you hear about the rumor about the tow brigade? Uh, what rumor? Do I wanna know? Maybe I don't. I wanna join the tow brigade. Remember, good clean fun is only good when it's clean. I think Panguu is going to cry. Well, well, well. So you still want to race, huh? I'm not gonna lose next time. That's will be in for some time between now and never. Look at Peach's castle. It's even more impressive than I've imagined. It is a nice castle. Gotta give her credit there. I heard the tow brigade is getting a commendation. Heard the same. Cool. Hey, hey it's me. Yeah, me. Billboard. The world is such a cool place. If only I weren't a sign. Yeah, a little unfortunate. Billboard kind of can't leave. Like at all. Maybe we'll help him move, because he's going to need all the help he can get, being assigned at all. The Toad Brigade has made their triumphant return. So why don't you go say hello? Will do. We got more purple coins. I almost forgot about the purple coins, but how many people we're talking to here. Sir, get over here. I'm trying to talk to you. Sparkle lumps. Cool! I better not catch you littering.
The captain is right over there. Go ahead and talk to him. I can, I can see he's there. He's on my left. Thanks, though. Appreciate it. Mr. Luigi! You gotta hear this. We did such a good job. They're promoting us to Royal Guards! With me as the Royal Guard Commander, nobody will ever kidnap Princess Peach again. Ever! Koopas, boos, giant overgrown moles, whatever. Bring it on! Well, he has a lot of confidence. I'll give Captain Toad that. This adventure has made him a lot more confident about his own said strengths, which is really nice to see. They really promote that guy, the Royal Guard Commander? But the leader is the least brave of them all. Okay, that toad is not wrong. Midnight snack. <sighs> I don't know if he's going to be eating the midnight snack if he's sleeping through the said cooking process. Gosh, I'm a royal guard? I don't know if I should salute myself or not. I'll take a bow to you. It's like a very duel. But I do think that's still a form of respect. Before we go any further, I want to go ahead and make my way on the top here of the tow brigade ship so I can grab myself that purple coin. One of the easiest ones to miss, just because it is the most out-of-the-way coin we've seen so far. Star Festival? Star Bunnies? Yes, I'm sensing a connection here. We know who the real heroes of this story are. Look at the shooting stars! Star bits are falling everywhere. I've never seen anything like it. We'll race again soon, right? Boing! After talking to everyone here in the garden area, we got ourselves not only a power star, but also one more letter here from Toad. Luigi! A very special letter has arrived for you. I'll read it out loud, okay? <coughs> Congratulations! We would like to send you a galaxy sized thanks for saving all the Power Stars and playing to the very end. Until next time, the Super Mario Galaxy Staff. I sent a picture to your system album, so look out for it! What? What is this capture taken? you speak of. Well, simply put, for collecting every single star in Super Luigi Galaxy and making it to the end of the grand finale galaxy here, you get yourself a picture of Luigi alongside of the Toe Brigade and Rosalina here in the Mushroom Kingdom. If you completed all of Super Mario Galaxy collecting every single star and make it to the end of grand finale galaxy with Mario, you get yourself a picture of Mario and Peach together with Lumos at Good Egg Galaxy. These are nice little rewards you get for 100% completion between the two different characters. One thing to note about the letter that Toad gives you here at the end of Grand Finale Galaxy is that if you're playing the Nintendo Wii version of Super Mario Galaxy or Super Luigi Galaxy, you will receive your said letter from Toad on the Wii message board. This is a different way for them to have sent the letter back in the days of where the Wii essentially acted as its own email service. So to get a letter on your Wii message board from a game like Super Mario Galaxy was a nice little touch for going out of your way and 100% completing both Super Mario Galaxy and Super Luigi Galaxy. But that's not all. For collecting every single star in Super Mario Galaxy and in Super Luigi Galaxy, your file will now update to have two gold crowns on it, and your character head will now be sparkling, showing that you have completed the entirety of Super Mario Galaxy 
or Super Luigi Galaxy, depending on which character you are playing. You also now have a death count on your file once you collect all 121 power stars. So now you can see at the end of your adventure how many times you died in total throughout the game. And at this point, I do need to break the illusion that Super Luigi Galaxy is an unlockable feature in Super Mario Galaxy. For collecting 120 power stars as Mario and beating Bowser in Bowser's Galaxy Reactor, you unlock Luigi the play in Super Mario Galaxy. Super Luigi Galaxy! Unlocking a new playable character to now make your way through the entirety of Super Mario Galaxy once more is a very interesting and yet very unique way of rewarding the player for going out of their way to collect all of the power stars, or at least a good majority of them, as you saw with us collecting one extra star for playing through the entire game as Luigi, which you do need to do if you want to play through the grand finale galaxy with Mario, as this is how you unlock that galaxy for Mario in Super Mario Galaxy. In order to unlock the grand finale galaxy, you are playing through Bowser's Galaxy Reactor two separate times. Once to beat the game normally, and one more time after you've collected all 120 power stars to unlock the grand finale galaxy. Which does mean that at the end of that said galaxy, you're not actually getting an extra star. Instead, you are collecting the same grand star that you get your first time around. So, may have fibbed a little bit, showing a brand new star, but hey, Luigi didn't collect the star at Bowser's Galaxy Reactor. That was Mario, so Luigi got his own star now. That's how I look at things, and that is how we are telling this story. But without any further ado, let us go ahead and grab our final star here of Super Luigi Galaxy, making a total of 121 power stars. And with this final star collected, that is everything that we can do in Super Luigi Galaxy. I will say the Grand Finale Galaxy was a very nice touch for getting every single power star and doing basically everything here in Super Luigi Galaxy. It's a very nice reward for all of your hard work. Now we can go ahead and save our game and talk to Polari here to check the map one final time to see we have every single star in every single galaxy here in Super Luigi Galaxy. Not a single stone was left unturned. And the fact that we can get a total of 121 stars between Mario and Luigi makes a total of 242 power stars that you can collect between the two different brothers here on the Comet Observatory. It's a lot of stars, which definitely shows that no matter what character you're playing as, Mario and Luigi both get to explore a lot of different areas and do a lot of different things. But that is everything that we can do here. And we've seen every single galaxy. So without any further ado, I guess it's time for one final thing. As now, there's nothing left for us here in the Comet Observatory. So I guess it's time for us to leave and embark on our own said journey. Let's go ahead, grab the red star, and fly back to the Mushroom Kingdom. Now that we've collected every single star in Super Luigi Galaxy, this concludes our adventure through this fantastic Wii game. This is still, to this day, one of my favorite games to play on the Nintendo Wii. And out of the two different characters that you can play through in Super Mario Galaxy here, between Mario and the unlockable Luigi, nowadays I prefer playing through this game 
with Luigi. Sure, he may not have the best acceleration compared to Mario, and he's a little more slippery on his feet, making platforming a little bit harder. He has a higher jump compared to Mario, which makes some platforming challenges a lot easier. Not to mention, in order to unlock the very final star here, you need to play through the entire game as Luigi. So, to get the full experience, I feel that it's actually better to be playing through Super Mario Galaxy, not as Mario, but as Luigi. And because of this, I always have a save file on standby that has Luigi already unlocked and ready to start his adventure from the very beginning. Which is what I recommend other people do if they are wanting to play Super Mario Galaxy as Luigi. This way you don't have to play through the entire game just to unlock him for a repeat playthrough. But it doesn't matter if you're playing this game as Mario or Luigi, Super Mario Galaxy, or by extension, Super Luigi Galaxy, is a very fun and enjoyable time. And I'm very happy I was able to revisit this Wii Classic once more using the updated re-release of Super Mario Galaxy via the Super Mario 3D All-Stars Collection on the Nintendo Switch. Sadly, you can no longer buy this collection of 3D Mario games as this collection was only released for a few months time to celebrate Mario's 35th anniversary. And thus, this was a limited time release both physically and digitally. But if you can find a copy of this game or if you do own a copy of 3D All-Stars on your Nintendo Switch, to me, this is the preferred way to play Super Mario Galaxy and Super Luigi Galaxy. The updated visuals, the updated controls, and the fact that this game can be played not only on a television, but also portably via the Nintendo Switch in handheld mode, to me, makes this Wii Classic even better to play on the Nintendo Switch. I hope you guys enjoyed this journey through Super Luigi Galaxy, as this was a different look compared to the last time we took a look at Super Mario Galaxy on this channel many, many years ago. And personally, I do think that a revisit to the cosmos, this time with the Green Plumber, I think that this was a very memorable experience. This was a lot of fun to go back through all the galaxies we explored in the past as Mario, now with a fresh face. And once again, no matter if you're playing this game with Mario or Luigi, Playing the original Wii version, or the updated Nintendo Switch release, Super Mario Galaxy, and by extension, Super Luigi Galaxy, is a very enjoyable game. And from start to finish, you have a big smile on your face. I know I did throughout this entire playthrough, and I hope you all at home enjoyed watching our journey through Super Luigi Galaxy. Thank you for playing my game. Thank you. I will watch over you from beyond the stars. <laughs>